we had oil to power the generators, you'd see the glorious effect of thousands of volts of electricity arcing across it, deterring would-be attackers from approaching. Such a pity. I am the humble son of scientists. My mother and father were on a mission to pursue the possibility of cold fusion. Imagine, nuclear reactions at room temperatures making it safe for everyone. Sadly, they are gone, and my efforts to follow their work has been stymied by immediate dangers. Perhaps one day, I'll have the time to devote to such a monumental achievement again. Believe me, I understand. Thank you for stopping by, and good luck out there. <sighs> Back to the wall. Let's hope you got another <sighs> career plan. I give it another three months before Pesa leaves you in the dust. And so what if she does? It just means I gotta work harder. Ain't no shame in that. I'm gonna remind you that you said that. Hey, Doc. Quan, hope you won't take offense, but I've got no time for niceties. Dying people take precedence. Understood, brother. They're in bad shape, and I don't have the time or tools to save them. Thank you. The things I need most are a suture kit, an injury kit, and a medic pack. Got that? These folks are literally dying on us, so don't fuck around. We'll talk more when you come back. You mean where they... Hey, Jimmy. Glad to see you're okay. Dorsey's didn't get this far? Nah, they didn't bother with us. They were after folks wearing badges like yours. I would have shot those Dorsey's dead if they'd walked in my garage. Haven't seen your friends before. If you folks are looking for help with your vehicle, you've come to the right place. Yeah? Oh, that's Doc Parker. He needed a place to set up his clinic, and we had the space, so... Good thing, too. Those Dorseys hurt a lot of people with that little raid of theirs. We brought as many as we could in here, and Doc's been patching them up as fast as he can. Only got two hands, though. The best in Colorado Springs, no lie. He was the Patriarch's personal physician for a while. Took care of all the hoity-toits in Broadmoor Heights, too. Kind of pissed us off at the time, actually. Nice Arapaho boy taking care of the hemorrhoids of the hundred families and turning his back on his own people. Came home in the end, though. Remembered who he was and set up his clinic here. 
Been serving the working people of Colorado Springs ever since. Anything for your vehicle. Have a look. You ever hear of car gardens? You mean where they grow these fine automobiles for our personal use? Don't get cute. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I didn't know they existed until my pa told me to go down to this old man's farm. He said he had a few cars we could take. What we didn't expect was 50 VWs in his garden, hanging around like shrubbery in a rich man's home. Damn waste of some good cars, but... Make sure you take care of that bike when you get to it. That rust trap? Why? Because this was Jimmy Longhall's first car. When it gave up the ghost in the plains, he salvaged what he could, turned it into this monster you see before you, all because he couldn't bear to be separated from his machine. That's dedication for you. Also to get out of the plains. You all forgot that part. So he runs out and starts trying to hose down the damn propane tank. What? No. What the heck is wrong with these frontier men? No idea. Luckily, I stopped him before he got us all killed. Damn idiot. Welcome back, children. Had another rough night? Remedies for regret, children. Headache pills, hair of the dog, pills for the pox, pills for the pain, and first aid kits for those of you who might have started something you couldn't finish. All guaranteed to fill you with pep and put a spring in your step. What can I get you? Here you go, children. Salvation is at hand. Let's round him up and bring him back to Doc Parker. What now? Finally, get started on those patients. It isn't that bad, is it? Just flesh wound, am I right? You should see the other guy. Closed my wound. <laughs> I won't miss staring at my own guts. They wouldn't stop. Why wouldn't they stop? It hurts. Like, where? What's going on? 
Did you patch me up? Jumped out of a building to escape the Dorseys. Didn't count on the ground stopping me. My leg! You said it! Ugh, still hurts like a bitch, but maybe I'll actually walk again. What now? Good. Thank you. One sec, though. I know I've asked a lot of you, and I'm grateful for what you've already done. But I need one more favor. You see this girl? She was shot in the head, but there's no exit wound. The bullet's still in there. I need to keep constant watch on her, and I need cleaner, safer facilities to do it. If you let me use the facilities at your HQ, I'll... I'll do anything. I'll work as your doctor. I'll fucking juggle for you, Rangers. I just need to save her. What do you say? Thank you. Thank you. You've saved her life. And mine. Need anything before I get my stuff together? Of course. Let's have a look. Good luck.
Fear of car gardens. You mean where they grow these fine automobiles for our personal use? Don't get cute. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I didn't know they existed until my pa told me to go down to this old man's farm. He said he had a few cars we could take. What we didn't expect was 50 VWs in his garden, hanging around like shrubbery in a rich man's home. Damn waste of some good cars, but... Next week, I'll get out, get myself some alone time. I miss the open road, the cold sky above us, the endless worry that someone might jump the convoy. Actually, I take that back. Make sure you take care of that bike when you get to it. That rust trap? Why? Because this was Jimmy Longhall's first car. When it gave up the ghost oh, of the plane, he salvaged She's what the he one could. In charge. Turned it into this monster you see before you. All because he couldn't bear. You got business with Mama Carter? Ha! No, you don't. Come back when you do. Until then, scram. Talk to Mama. She always knows what to do. Got nothing to say to you. Talk to her. No entry by order of Sheriff Daisy. Sorry, no admittance. Museum's closed. I heard we had some new arrivals wash on in. Military types, they said. Can't really see the difference between you and the ordinary class of mercs. Well, much as I'd love to shoot the shit with you tryhards, Sheriff Daisy said to let you go on in. So, go on. Give them Dorseys some hell. Marshal Lupinski, I expect you to moderate your language in the presence of a young lady. My apologies, Miss West. I meant no disrespect. Best of luck to you and your companions here. It's the Garden of the Gods. Rocks, experimental farms, and now those fuck... those... Dorseys. Nope. No room for amateurs in this town. You hear? No room.
Lucy's all over the garden. I'm pinned down on a high ledge. Can... can you reach me? Oh, thank God. I'll call out if I see you. As long as it's safe. Hey! You on the ledge! Hands off! Oh no. They found me. Or we're coming up! You... you don't want to do that! Oh, yeah? Why not? I... I've got this whole place rigged to blow! That's why! I don't see no explosives! Where are they? All around here! Carefully concealed! If I press this button, we're all dead! Okay? Do it then! Fine! Take one step closer, and I will! Well, hot damn! Smoke them if y'all got them! Get down from there, or we're coming up! You, you don't want to do that! Oh, yeah? Hey! Where did you come from? You back the hell off, or you're dead! You saying I'm a child? You're the one who's in for a whooping!
Got a bead on him. Did the Patriarch send you? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I need to warn you. The Dorseys are gathering up ahead between the Gateway Rocks. Bellamy! Bellamy, look at me! Have you seen my family? Are they here? Lucia? I... I thought you were with your family. Oh, thank God you're not. Thank God. They went up ahead with their hostages, but... Lucia, I heard gunfire and screaming. You need to be ready for the worst. If they've done anything to my people, I'm going to end them all. Please do. I'll tell whatever I can to help. It's not much, but... I think they took everyone to their camp, just past the Gateway Rocks. What about my family, Belle? Last I saw them, they were all right. They were scared and a little banged up, but... They were still alive. My name is Bellamy Ward. I'm a scientist. I invented the solar collectors and experimental farms on top of the rocks. I was calibrating the solar arrays when the Dorseys came through here, herding their hostages with them. So I hid up here and kept out of sight. They're savages. Animals. They beat those people, laughed at them when they begged for their lives. The kids were screaming, so they beat them, too. Then they dragged them all further on, toward their camp.
The PALs, photon amplification lenses. They harness and focus the ambient light. It's fascinating, actually. They polarize the waves and create constructive interference. Normally, they maintain a stable temperature for the plants, but they can be adjusted to help power the solar collectors or even thaw frozen components. I once coupled a PAL with a dynamic cross photon matrix. I was trying to cook some bison steaks, but it incinerated the whole fire pit, melted the entire grill. Goes to show what can happen if you put a decimal in the wrong place. A while ago, we found some old non-functional solar panels from before the deluge of fire. I couldn't figure out their function at first, until I recovered a microcircuitry board and developed a laser spectrography process. I realized that I could help solve some of the electrical generation issues that have always been a problem for the city. You saved my life. I won't forget it. This is Bellamy Ward, PAL operational test number, uh, 110. I have adjusted the angle of the solar collectors by 3.12 degrees to improve the energy transmission from the photonic amplification lenses. I've also attached a more sensitive voltmeter to the test panel, so I can hopefully get a more accurate reading of the conversion rate. Everything's set. Here we go. The photon amplification lenses are operating at 60% ambient light, approximately what we would expect on a typical day in Colorado Springs. Checking the voltmeter now. Yes! It's working! Energy storage is... 
12% above norm. This is better than I hoped. Now, if I can get the storage rate up to 25%, we'll have surplus power running into the batteries each day. For the first time since the deluge of fire, Colorado Springs will have all the electricity it needs. I can't wait to show this to Theo and Megan. They'll be so excited. Hold my guns. <laughs> 